Hi, this is Miss Lamb with a short-ish video on using Digo for bookmarking and annotating um, sources. I have a video about Google Keep, but this one is a different tool. It's not that one is better or worse. Each tool has different features to it. A lot of the features overlap. A lot of them are similar. Um, but some people just like prefer one or, over the other. So this website that I'm using is called Digo, D-I-I-G-O. Um, and I'm here at their homepage. What you would have to do first is to sign up. They do have paid accounts, but their free account has lots of features, and that's the one that I use, so I would recommend that you use that one. I'm going to sign in just so that I can show you um, how to use it. Okay. So here I am inside of uh, mine, and I'm specifically using one that has lots of resources already in it, my actual one that I used. Um, and I, I used this a lot this past summer when I was taking a class on special education in college. And I wanted to show you, the first page you always open up to is your library. Your library is where it stores all of the different bookmarks um, that you might have. Now you add bookmarks into your Deagle library in one of two ways. One way is through this plus button. You press on this plus button and you can add a bookmark. By pressing on this, it gives you space to copy and to paste a URL that you've copied from an article. You can uh, put an image, you can put a PDF, or you can just add a free form note, whatever it is that you like. Now, what's great is that within all of these um, different um, articles that you pull up, you can annotate them straight on the page. So that here, if I press on annotate article, which was that little pencil next to the name of the article, I need to wait for Mr. Pac-Man to finish over here. And now I can annotate. Um, I can highlight things. Um, I can add comments. I can do all sorts of really, really neat things that would copy it. But here I can highlight it. So in case I have information that I need, um, and then it all remains highlighted over here when I go to look at it. Um, and that's really, really helpful. Um, for each of the um, for each of the bookmarks that you put, you can add a tag to help you um, to help you know like how you want to use it. This one for from and when you press right underneath, a little pencil pops up that could um, help you to figure out. Let me find an untagged one. Right, let's say here, right here, you just either it says plus tag or when you put next to it. Um, when you go next to a tag that's already there, there's this little pencil. Um, and then you can, here, let me just get rid of that. You can sort by various tags that you have that appear here um, on the left and appear right underneath. So it's really helpful for organizing your sources as you go along. Now, similar to Google Keep, Digo does have a Google Chrome extension. I've already installed mine. You just either right on the sign-in page where I was a couple of minutes ago, that one has um, a, a link already to install the extension. Otherwise, if you just Google Digo extension, it'll give you that option. Now, what's great about the Digo extension um, is that, let me just delete this so I can show you how it works, is let's say I have an article open on a web page. Instead of copying and pasting the link, I can just press the little Digo extension and I can either right here in the web page, I can annotate the article. See, it doesn't even take it anywhere. For, it just takes it right here for me to be able to um, highlight my article and save information about it. But what I want to show you also is that you can save the book, right? It's once you have Digo installed, it has this little like toolbar over here, but either you can go through one of them and you can save the bookmark where this automatically pulls in the title. You can add whatever kind of description you need. You can add your tags right here. It may recommend some tags um, and you can add it to your outliner, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes what your outliner is. And then you press save. And then when you go back to your Digo and you your Digo library and you refresh the page, boom, it's right there waiting for you to annotate and use. Now, a really wonderful feature of Digo that I really like is its outliner, and that's why I'm signed specifically into this account so that I can show you how I use the outliner. Um, an outliner literally helps you to create an outline with live links to the sources. Um, I had to write a paper on Tourette syndrome this past summer. You can see there, July 12th. Um, so what I did is I created mine, I created, let's say, a top designation, and here, 
um, see, you can, you can like see what is here. You can see all your, all your items here. Um, yeah, if you press the little, um, question mark, it tells you how to use keyboard shortcuts to add stuff. But basically what you can do is let's say you have your topic over here and then you pull from here, see right in there in order to, and let's say I wanted to move this over. Hold on. Oh, you see, I can even open the source in there. I can move this over here and I can literally look at the source with the thing. I can expand my annotations so that I can see my annotations. The outliner is a really, really, really cool feature um, that's super helpful. Like I wrote my entire paper using Digo. I found all my sources. I added them in with the Digo extension. Um, then I went into the I went into an outliner, I created a new outliner, I dragged in all my sources, and then I had my screen split and I used that as I was writing my paper. Um, and I found it to be super helpful. You could, in case you're sharing information with friends, you could create your own group where you invite people so that they can see the information that you have. You can share it with your teacher, you can share it with classmates who are helping you um, and other things like that. And also in tools, it can help you to get to the Digo extension. There's also a Digo app, which has all that information saved. Um, this is a really, really, really basic generalized overview to Digo. Um, I highly recommend that you play around with it to see if this is a, a tool that you like. Um, I like both this and Google Keep. They both have really a lot of value. Um, and it's just a matter of choosing which one you like better.